When we think about human colonisation beyond Earth, Mars often steals a spotlight, thanks in part to Elon Musk's ambitious plans with SpaceX. However, let's explore an alternative narrative where the Moon might just be a more strategic first step for several compelling reasons. 1. Its proximity to Earth The Moon is significantly closer to Earth than Mars. This proximity offers numerous advantages. Travel time? Trip to the Moon takes about 3 days, whereas a journey to Mars can take 6 to 9 months. This reduces the complexity and the risk associated with long duration space travel. Communication Communication delay with the Moon is roughly 2.5 seconds for a round trip, allowing for near real time communication. Mars, however, can have delays of up to 40 minutes, complicating operations and emergency responses. Resupply missions The short distance means that supply missions can be more frequent, less costly and quicker in case of emergencies. It's a great testing ground for the technology. The Moon serves as an excellent testing ground for technologies intended for Mars. Habitat construction? It would be very similar to what we would do on Mars. We build habitats on the Moon to help refine the technology and processes needed for extraterrestrial living with the advantage of being close enough for rapid iteration. Resource utilisation. The moon has water ice, which can be used for life support and as a component for rocket fuel. Learning to harness these resources locally could be pivotal before tackling the more challenging Martian environment. Economic viability. The cost efficiencies of travelling to the moon, given the reduced travel time and logistics, setting up a moon base would be less resource intensive initially. This could make the venture more economically viable in the short term, attracting more investment and better public support. Helium-3 The Moon has deposits of Helium-3, a potential fuel for future nuclear fusion reactors. This could become a significant economic incentive for lunar development. Scientific Opportunities while Mars holds its mysteries, the Moon isn't fully understood either, and lunar exploration can provide insights into the Earth's history. The Moon's geological record can offer clues about the early solar system, including Earth's formation. Astronomy The far side of the Moon is the most radio-quiet place in the inner solar system, ideal for radio telescopes, because it's in the Earth's shadow. It's a great strategic stepping stone, so, it would give us fantastic experience in space colonisation, it would establish a presence on the Moon and give humanity practical experience in building and sustaining a colony off Earth, which could then be applied to Mars or Titan or, dare I say it, other planets in the galaxy. Infrastructural development. The infrastructure developed for lunar missions, like launch systems and habitats, could be repurposed are scaled for mass missions, creating a more robust space exploration framework. Challenges and considerations. Of course, the Moon isn't without its challenges. It doesn't have any atmosphere. While Mars has a thin atmosphere, the Moon has virtually no atmosphere, which means no protection from meteorites or solar radiation without substantial shielding. However, we would still live underground on Mars to protect ourselves from cosmic radiation and solar radiation. So why wouldn't we practice it on the Moon first? The day-night cycle. The lunar day-night cycle lasts around 28 Earth days, which poses thermal and energy storage challenges, but not if we're living under the regolith. We would live underground, and we would only be on the surface for specific reasons. Much like we would be on Mars, because we would not be wandering about Mars on the surface because we would be very exposed and prone to being damaged by cosmic and solar radiation. However, all these challenges are arguably less daunting than those on Mars, where the atmosphere, although thin, still possesses entry, descent and landing challenges, and the dust storms can be really problematic on Mars. So while Mars remains a tantalising goal for human exploration and potential colonisation, the Moon offers a practical, 
less risky and potentially more rewarding first step. By establishing a lunar base, SpaceX and Elon Musk could refine their technologies, prove concepts and build a sustainable model for space colonisation that could eventually be adapted for Mars. This approach not only makes logistical sense, but could also accelerate our journey to becoming a multi-planetary species by providing a near-term, achievable target that keeps public interest and investment flowing. And yes, I know in my last video I said it's no longer good enough to shoot for the moon, but maybe it is. Maybe we should be shooting for the moon. <laughs>